Today we're going to talk about, well, none other than Spy X Family, Court 2, Episode 5. Hmm. Damn it, that's Spy X Family fans right now. So, keep on watching. What? What? Um, I'm seeing a trend here when it comes to Court 2. Mohang! Uh, they're, they've already they've, all, they've already adopted a two-story format for um for this particular season of Spy X Family. I say for a good three episodes now, we're we're, we're being treated to two stories set in one episode. So I, let's break it down now by discussing the thumbnail first. This was the culmination of the um of a somewhat long post-credit scene. Wherein Yuri was was uh, passed by uh, passed by a patch of uh, patch of string flowers. Okay, parang hindi ko pa alam ano bulak na tungo tungo nila basta basta sa 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 kalsada. Yun parang ganit ko. And it was blown by the wind. Hmm. You know what, guys? I'm treating this as an ominous sign because. It can, yeah, it can, well, for me, it means two things. There's probably a new character that's going to be introduced, or worse, a crisis is coming. We'll see in the, we'll see in the following episode, oh, in the, uh, the next two episodes, right? So, if this is, a, uh, if this is related to at least the next one, okay? So, now we get to the nitty-gritty of the episode. Base! Two-story format, so... The first story, moderately paced. <laughs> Pumipikap lang yung pacing pang... Uh, when Anya shows off her, her classic facial expressions, yeah, I can call it a classic now, right? Spy X Family fans love Anya's facial expressions, <laughs> okay? So, it either becomes... Wait, um, it triggers... Emotions to the viewer, so but, but it's one of the functions of the basic, right? To trigger the basic emotions of the viewer. So, yeah, I got no complaints when it came to the basic of the first story. You know, the second story, the man, um, it's quite mellow. Kung binilisan nila ang basic for the second story, hindi natin um. Makikilala ng gusto si Handler, who's also known as the uh, as the full metal lady. It's quite mellow, pero there's a certain tenseness to it, eh. but but not to the point that it's that it's excruciating. Kumaga, it's slow and tense enough for us to understand what uh, what Handler's going through herself. So overall, I got no issues as to the pacing. Of this episode, this entire episode. Swap lang. Flow naman. Well, since it's a, uh, a multi story format, I'm going to take the biggest gear shifts of each, uh, of each story. First gear shift, okay, from the first story. The biggest one of the first story is when Anya offers Damian her, her own creation. Para lang, uh, matuloy yung sariling creation ni Damian. No way of a gearship there, folks. Why? Because just goes to show you how um, how uh, what's called this? How generous Anya is. How uh, how innocently generous Anya is. Pero that innocent generosity can can also be deceiving. Tandaan niyo, may ulterior motive din si Anya. Kasi Anya pala. Biggest gearship of the second story is Lloyd's report. No way of gives it there, folks. Because Handler is somewhat misinterpreting Lloyd's report. Akala ni Handler, um, kino, kinakausap siya ni Lloyd in code. Which was funny. Which was absolutely funny. So, those are the two gear shifts, uh, the two biggest gear shifts I saw here in this episode, guys. Well, you can... You can watch these two gear shifts ano, to, to completely understand the entire episode. But I strongly suggest you watch the entire episode. Alright? 
because you're going to miss out on the funny elements. You're going to miss out on the comic elements, alright? Which makes Spy X Family a brain anime. Plot lies. Um. Isip pa ako, multi-story format nga eh. Kaya, Planchado ang plot, guys. Especially the way the um, they sitched in that backstory sequence by Yuri na ginawa na nilagay na lang sa post-credit. Alright? Ang ganda na pagkakalagay. And it's post-credit in nature. If of this episode had <coughs> excuse me, had one continuity at one one full story the entire episode, it's okay. Kasi post-credit siya. May tuturin natin naman hindi sa plot ng episode. Pero, uh, let's go show you that this episode had a really well ironed out plot. Okay, to the point na yung backstory ni sequence ni Yuri, ilagay na sa post-credit. So if ever man, uh, siguro, if which studio in Cloverworks decided na gawin na lang isang story ang episode na to, that's okay. Malinis pa rin yung plot. Kasi post-credit na lang yung past story sequence. Get my point guys? You get my point, Vigo? So, base, role, and plot. <laughs> eh, okay, figure it for this episode, folks. Talaga, wow! Whew! I was entertained with this episode. Courtesy of our baby girl, Anya. So, Spy X Family Tour 2, Episode 5. Mm. I got no particular parting shots for this episode. Talagang, it's vintage Spy X Family. So, there's nothing to add, nothing, nothing additional in nature, right? So, we'll just leave it at that and wait for the next episode. I don't know about you guys, but I'll take you. So, again, Spy X Family, Tour 2, Episode 5.